Hi, it's Mark from TrainSpark, and today we're going to look at how you can add a certificate to your LearnDash platform. Now, if you haven't done so already, it would be really useful if you have completed one of your online courses, because this will help to preview your certificate later on. So I've completed a course there as my administrator user, and I'm going to head to the WordPress dashboard now, and head to LearnDash LMS, and then Certificates and show you that LearnDash with its default installation has a basic certificate builder, uh, but what it requires you to do is position things in a very specific way using things like line breaks and CSS, and it's actually really quite difficult to do. But thankfully, if you head to add-ons here, LearnDash have a certificate builder add-on that makes this a lot easier. So I'm going to install that here by choosing this option and then once that's installed, we can activate that by clicking this plug icon here. And now if we head back to certificates and then add a new one, what we will find is that we've got this option to use a certificate builder. So first I'm going to give this a title and just say my generic certificate and just click publish. And that's just giving this a title of the certificate so I can reference it later on. But what I'm going to do is click on this Use Certificate Builder. And what this does is use the Gutenberg editor to help guide you through the process of creating a certificate and make it easier to follow and you know a more visual way of doing things. So firstly, what we're asked to do is use choose a certificate background and you can head to the media library and upload one of these. I've got one here that I just um, created using a Canva. Oh, it was a, a default template in Canva, in fact. Canva's a good place to look for these sort of things. But what I would say is that it will be a lot easier if you, you choose a certificate background where the text is center aligned. If you've got a certificate that requires things positioned in very specific areas, it'll be probably possible to do, but a lot more difficult. Whereas the standard ones where it's a central aligned name and name of the course, then uh, yeah, that's probably a great place to start. If you're a whiz with Gutenberg, then feel free to have a you know, play and create things a bit more complex. You might be able to do something with columns, but I'm just going to keep things simple in this uh, demonstration here. On the right hand side here, we're asked to choose what the size of this is and the template that I've just downloaded there is A4. So I'm just going to switch that to A4 and turning on if you want a portrait or landscape certificate, you can switch that here. I'm not entirely sure what this fixed viewport does, but I've had best results with that left on. So what I'm going to do firstly is just update that and preview it and go to this preview in a new tab. And what you'll see is that you can see what the, the the certificate coming together as you're adding things to it. So we've got a basic certificate there with nothing on it, and we've got a means of, of previewing it here. So let's start adding some things to this certificate. One of the things that is really useful to use as part of this Gutenberg editor is a block called spacer here. And so if you can't see that in the results, just search for spacer and that'll appear. And what this does is create sort of an invisible block that you can move around and position your things with. So I'm going to move this down here so that the next thing I add, which will be the person's name, is in position. So I'm going to choose the plus icon after that spacer here. And then what you want to do is search for learn dash because this is where you will start to bring in the stuff that's related to LearnDash, like the user's uh, name and the course information that you want to include. So the one I'm going to add here is called LearnDash user meta, because that will let me put in the user's name. So once we've added that block, we'll head to the right hand side here, and it's asking us to choose what field we want to show. We actually want to show the user's first name and last name rather than their login. And we can bring that in the you know, center align that and change things like the font and uh, font 
colors as well if you want to. So have a play around with those. You can change yeah, a few bits around that. And what we'll do is just now preview that in a new tab just to see what that now looks like. So we've got the name in the certificate and you know, it, it does it sort of best to position this preview as things would display for real. You know, we're looking at the PDF here. So, um, you know, this is your most accurate rep representation of how this would appear in a course. And you might need to nudge things down slightly and they might not you know, align perfectly. Um, you know, the, the preview might not be exactly as it is in, in the proper one. So you might need to use a, a bit of uh, you know, your own judgment here. But what we've got there is a name added to the certificate. Below that, I'm just going to add another spacer because I want to bring this down uh, just past this bit that says informal recognition of the completion of. And then what I want to do is add another block and I'll just search for learn dash again here. And I'm going to choose the course info tab because what I want to do is display the title of the course here. And what it will say is course ID is required when not used within a course. Because we're downloading the certificate ultimately from a course, um, we don't need to worry about that. We can leave this course ID blank because it will pick up whatever the course ID that the certificate is added to. Um, so I'm again going to center align that and I'm going to give it the same font size and text color as the name that I used there. And I'm just going to click update. And we can preview this again, but it won't contain the um, course ID there because what, where we're previewing it here has no understanding of what the course is. You know, it's, it's not attached to a course yet. So this is what I was talking about earlier, how it's useful to already have a completed course because what we can do is head to that completed courses settings here And under settings, this is where we assign a certificate to a course. So I can choose under course certificate here, the certificate that I'm building, which is that my generic certificate. And I can click update. And now when I view the course, depending on your theme, you should have an option to download a certificate. You know, uh, this is an Astra theme, different themes will display this in a different way. And I believe there are learn dash shortcodes that you can use to have links to certificates as well. But I can download this now and um, see that what it's doing uh, is showing the my name and the course that I've passed now. But I can see that this is a bit too high up. It doesn't quite represent how it looked in the preview. So I'm going to head back to the certificate um, builder here uh, go back to um, learn dash and then certificates and then edit my generic certificate here. And what I can see is that um, I need to give a bit more space above the, the course title here. So the spacer that I created there, I'll just increase that a little bit. And um, I'll just refresh this to see how that appears so that looks better now so this is what i was talking about earlier it's not quite accurate there so you can see here the the course title is actually over this signature whereas in real life it's not and that's because it's what it's trying to do here is something quite complex it's trying to interpret how this is going to appear within a pdf uh, and not accounting for things like fonts and font sizes and various bits and pieces the last thing i'll do here is just add a quick date of completion to the certificate. So I'm going to head to this blocks here and go to learn dash course info. And this will add an item here. And instead of course title, what I want to do is choose course date of completion. I'm going to center it and then click update. And I'm just going to refresh this now. And we can see that we now have the completion date of the course within here. So you probably just want to add a spacer above that to position that as well. So there are the main three things that you probably want on a course completion certificate. The learner's name, the course name, and the date that they completed it. 
So I hope you find that useful. You can also create uh, certificates for quizzes as well, which are done in a, a similar way. But instead of using uh, these course blocks, what you would probably do is add um, a block, which is like this learn dash quiz info uh, block here instead to sh show information that's relevant to the quiz. And then you would attach that um, certificate to the uh, quiz in the quiz settings. So we hope you find that useful. And if you did, please give the video a like. And if you'd like to see more like this, please subscribe to the TrainSpark YouTube channel.